There are 16 modulation slots in MX4. The current modulation slot is selected with this radio button. When a modulation slot is active, you can inspect the currently assigned modulations or add new ones. This modulation slot is already assigned to Wavetable Index. I can go ahead and add some additional ranges to this modulation slot. Now I'll switch to the next slot occupied by Envelope 4. Modulation range and direction is programmed at the destination as explained in a previous tutorial. Each slot can affect an unlimited number of destinations, and each destination can be affected by all the available modulation slots. At this single destination, I'll program four modulators. Each modulation slot has a selectable source. A source can include MIDI controllers, ramp automation, or internal modulators like LFOs and envelopes. A source can be reassigned at any time, and the defined modulation ranges stay intact. A shaper follows a source. The source and shaper are multiplied, and the result is passed on to the destination. One common use of a shaper is to use the modulation wheel to control the output of a modulator. Let's use LFO4 to modulate the filter. Without a shaper, the LFO freely modulates the filter. If I select the mod wheel as the shaper, the LFO only affects the filter when the mod wheel is up. A shaper could also be anything else, like another LFO. I'll use LFO3 to modify the output of LFO4. When used as a shaper, the overall effect is amplitude modulation. I'll use LFO3 to modulate the rate of LFO4 for frequency modulation of the LFO itself.